parts of the country pledging loyalty and support to the former president ahead of his D-Day tomorrow. Now, this comes after a constitutional court ruling earlier this week that he be imprisoned for 15 months for being in contempt of court. Well, a number of ANC veterans and high-profile members are present at Nkandla in support of Zuma. ANC senior reporters are on the ground. They're bringing us the latest developments in the story. Well, Avi Wemtila is following a group of Amabuta to Nkandla. Let's uh, chat to him now. He's on the road with them. Avi, a very good afternoon to you. And uh, what are Amabuta saying? They, they're there. They are supporting the former president. They will not back down. What have they been telling you? <laughs> Those exact sentiments, Yuveka, as they make their way uh, now to Nkanda. We're about 500 meters away from the president's home where the Ambabuto are headed now. I even tried to get a word just with them now, and they're telling me, So Kuluma Pambili, simply put, that means that we are angry, my brother. We'll speak um, further down the line once they uh, get there. But the message is simple. It's that... Um, they'll support whatever decision the former president takes. Whether the president uh, hands himself over to the authorities as stipulated by the highest court in the land, the constitutional court, they'll support that decision. But even if the uh, opposite happens where the president defies the constitutional court and does not hand himself over, they say they'll be there defending uh, that decision from the president. But now they have gathered in numbers, making their way uh, to the Nkanda homestead. Well, they don't want to speak to us. Mm. I'll try grabbing some comment just on the sidelines and the cars that are moving here. Um, Kulu, we see you making your way to the president's home. Um, what's in this relation to? Uh, Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're very reluctant to come at this stage, uh, Yuveka directing us to um, another gentleman here, but the two lines that are formed here, which we understand, is Amabuto. But when I questioned them, uh, question them earlier on, speaking to uh, Mike Zuma, asking if this, in fact, is an order from the king, since we understand the Amabuto um, give... Uh, a, a, adhere to orders from the king so we asked if this is one of those orders and they made it clear that it's not an order from the king per se but it's a decision that they took as part of the community to defend the former statement as we approach now Uganda heading there um, where I understand my colleague Sipama Koge is at the moment and how far are they willing to go to defend the former president Aviwe? Well, they made it quite clear, Yuveka, that they'll defend whatever decision former President Jacob Zuma takes. If the former president hands himself over to the authorities, they'll be in support of that. But if the former president does not hand himself over to the authorities and, in fact, refuses, they say that they're willing to lay their lives um, in support of that decision that the former president uh, takes. Because they believe that uh, the former president has been mistreated by the judiciary in, in support um, of the very utterances that former President Jacob Zuma has said uh, time and again. Trying to get you um, these voices as they move forward now, joined by even the young ladies from the Zulu Nation here, as they all move towards uh, the Nganda homestead. The Nganda homestead, not quite far from where we are now, about some 300 meters, as you can see, just up on the hill over there as they're making their way closer. And you can see just ahead of them even, there are different groupings uh, that I assume will meet with them on their way to Uganda as they get there. But these uh, group of Amabuta have made it clear that they'll support whatever decision that former President Jacob Zuma takes in this. All right, everywhere I can hear you are trying to keep up, but if you can just indulge me one more question. I'm sure lots of people wondering how are they allowed to have such a gathering like this. I'm seeing very few masks. Hardly anyone seems to be wearing a mask in this crowd making its way to Nkandla. Where are the cops? What are they saying? Because our understanding is this is not allowed to happen at the moment. Surprisingly, I haven't ha seen any um, official authorities on the roads and around uh, Nganza here. In fact, there's a police station not quite far from here, some 800 meters from where we are, and the police have been converged there, but inside uh, that police station, you can see the heavy police presence, but none on the road, surprisingly. We heard yesterday there were roadblocks in and around here, but um, today we're seeing none of that. In fact, besides the traffic that you see caused here from uh, the convergence of um, Amabuto as they move there, there hasn't really been any um, monitoring of the 